The man accused of killing 20-year-old college student Molly Tibbetts back in court this week, and attorneys for Christian Rivera say his confession should be thrown out because their client wasn't properly read his Miranda rights. The judge yesterday ruling that he won't consider written testimony from Rivera after his attorneys refused to allow prosecutors to cross-examine their client. So where does the case go from here? Here to weigh in on this is trial attorney Brian Claypool. Hey, Brian. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so just to give the viewer a little background, he wasn't given his Miranda rights properly after he admit he did admit to killing her. Um, 11 hours of questioning, then he took police to her body in that cornfield, and then he was correctly read his Miranda rights. Yesterday, a judge decided to toss out the fact he wanted to just write out his testimony, didn't want to be cross-examined, and a judge threw that out. What exactly does that mean? Yeah, there's a legal doctrine called hearsay evidence. And what that means is it's an out-of-court statement offered for the truth of the matter asserted. That could be either a verbal comment or a written document. And here the defendant wanted to submit a written statement saying he wasn't properly read his Miranda rights, he didn't understand them, and he didn't knowingly waive them. The judge said, sorry, you can't do that because it is hearsay. And the, the spirit of the hearsay doctrine is you've got to be subjected to cross-examination. So if you just let him submit a, a written affidavit, he can't be cross-examined. So the judge made the right ruling. What is going to happen with this case? Because it's got to be infuriating for her family. They want closure this guy admitted it, but he wasn't read the Miranda rights. Is this the police's fault? Yeah, well, well this, this, in my opinion, though, is, is, is a criminal defense debacle. Uh, I do criminal defense cases. If you have a murder case and there already exists physical and forensic evidence that implicates your client and you have a chance to get a confession thrown out, then you put your client on the stand. I have no idea why these defense lawyers didn't put Rivera on the stand to say that he didn't understand the Miranda rights, he didn't understand he had the right to a lawyer, and in fact, law enforcement admitted on the first reading of the Miranda rights, they didn't tell him that what he could say could be used against him. But the big, the big second Miranda rights is, is, is going to be a colossal disaster for the defendant because he admitted after that that, that he knew where the body was and took police to the body. If a jury hears that, he's toast. He's going to be convicted. All right, so you think he will get convicted? He won't just get off scot-free because he wasn't read properly the Miranda rights? Well, it depends. I think what the judge is going to do is split the puppy. I think, I think there's two Miranda issues. The first reading, the Miranda rights uh, at 11 p.m. I think the judge is going to say, look, at the first reading, the Miranda rights, I'm not going to allow those comments. Mm -hmm. And those comments dealt with that he saw her, he followed her, he got mad at her, and then remembers her being in the trunk of his car, but he doesn't remember anything after that. That's not likely to come Come in. But what is likely to come in on the second part is where they didn't read the Miranda rights properly at 530 in the morning. And then he says, OK, I'm going to take you to where her body is. Yeah. I think that's going to come in and that's going to be devastating. It's so for him. obvious what happened here. It's just a shame. Yeah. He's here illegally and he could get off scot free. The, the trial is February 4th. Her family has to go through the holidays without their child. Thank you for being with us, Brian. You bet. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Pop